Before you call them friend, gotta prove them first. Cause they're really loyal to you when you're at your worst. We need to hit her all like the wire. You're looking for some truth, I'll supply If you want it too soft, this ain't deal. You gon' choose a law of a sin. This just some uncut gems. This just some uncut gems. We was diamonds in the dirt. Just grinding in the turf, our mama go berserk, trying to keep from riding in the hearse. Now we lines in the work, sons of Zion, we the church. Different color fringes is looking, vibrant on my shirt, and time lying in the dirt. I pray to be a fire hydrant with this word, like a geyser on a curb. You don't believe in God? Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. What, what's your ethnicity, if you don't mind me asking? Um, I guess Mexican. Mexican? Yeah. On your father's side or both parents? Both. Both parents? Okay, okay, okay. I got so, colonized. I got colonized. Of course. By the colonizers. Of course. They told me we believe, all did. They told me to believe in Jesus. They told you to believe in, not, they told, not to they, believe in Jesus. They, they told, told you to believe in him. They, they, yeah, I mean, they told you to believe in this guy right here, right? I mean, no, because, I mean. That's him. There was Jesus. Jesus is black, though, for sure. Yes, but, that, but they didn't give you black Jesus. They gave you him. They gave you Cesare Borja, son of Rodrigo Borja, who was later named Pope Alexander VI. You see what I'm saying? So, so they, so they colonized you with the white man that they loved. They didn't, they didn't give you what actually belonged to you, right? Now you say that you that you don't believe in God, right? Aside from the colonization that happened, why else don't you believe in God? Uh, and I'm a, and I'm asking as someone who once did not, not believe himself. It's not natural. What, what's not natural? It's not natural to believe in something that's that that's greater than yourself. No, that you cannot see or touch or, or feel. Why not? I mean, when do you believe in that? Though? Well, here's the thing, though, right? Do you believe in, like, the... Do you believe in, like, science? No? I mean, sometimes, when I can prove it, yeah. Okay. What, what do you feel about the Big Bang Theory? Is that something you subscribe to, or no? I mean, I... Shit, hell no. I mean, I don't know anything about that. Okay, okay, okay. Hey, look, that's fair. That is way beyond, like... That's fair. Okay. Well, let me ask this. What do you believe in? I believe in the sun. I believe in the moon. I believe in the earth. I believe like, like in, a, in a worshipping sense? Or you just know that these things exist? Thankful. You're thankful for these things, right? Because those are the things that give me food. Okay. They're, 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 what, they're what dictate your environment that you exist in, right? I suppose. Okay. Now, here's the thing. Where did those things come from? From the earth. The earth created the sun? The sun was created like, by something that we don't know. It, by something you can't explain, right? Yeah. Okay, so to your knowledge, if, if something created the sun, that means there's something greater than the sun. Oh, always. So, I mean, I mean if, you don't want to think of a bad guy, like, so with, with the creation of the sun and what it provides for the earth, right, is that random or something specific? Because when you really think about what the sun provides, it provides vitamins for our skin and also vitamins and nutrients for the plants and, and the environment, right? It, 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 it helps the environment, yes? So it's something that benefits you down to a scientific level. That's not something random. That's something by a design. You can't just sit here and say, oh, well, the sun is just there and it does all this stuff, but you can't, you can't say that that's random. But I mean, if it does something very specific, that can't be random. But I mean, there's so many suns across Where? the galaxy. Can, so you believe that there's another galaxy? I mean, Can you prove it? Have you seen it? Have you have not. Have you seen God? Have I seen the Most High? Yeah. Yeah, actually. Well, you see the sky right here? You see that sun over there? You see this tree? You see these men right here? These are all men of the Most High God. Can't nobody do what we do. For example, out of, for blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, us versus the entire earth, right? Who cooked better than us? Who got better women? Who make better music? We, 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 gotta, we compete amongst each other on who got better music. Who, who's better at sports? I mean, you guys don't even recognize 
to be quite honest, because I have friends, mm -hmm. like from that are from the DR, like Puerto Rico. Th and, those those are our people too. Okay. Well, those are our people. <laughs> those those are our people. And you know what? And that's good that you say that because I I've heard a lot of people mm -hmm. saying that they're. You, you, growing up, do you know what I used to hear about Dominicans and Puerto Ricans? But, I mean, you know what I'm saying, though. You know, I'm not lying about what I'm saying. No, no, I, I agree with you. But growing up as a kid, what I was always told that a Puerto Rican and a Dominican are just niggas who speak Spanish. And guess what? It, it's, kind of, it's kind of a fact because we are literally the same people. We all come from the same stock, man. But again, all of us, we, we, we are the greatest groups of people in the entire earth. But at the same time... We're at the bottom of all society in the earth. That's not by coincidence. How can we be? How can we be this great, but at the very bottom? Like for example, in, for now, exactly for now, it is going to change. It's something to definitely change. But here's the thing, though, right? You ask me if I've seen if I've seen God. Everywhere I look is God's creation. The fact that I'm existing is the is the will of the Most High. Well, here's the thing. Can you explain your existence? You can explain your biological body, I mean, but, but I'm talking about you. Why find an explanation, though? Huh? Why find an explanation? But here's the thing, though. Can you explain it is my question. I'm not talking about your biological meat wagon you call your body. I'm talking about you as a conscious being. Can you explain that existence? I mean, my brain, I guess. That's part of your meat flesh. That is something that you operate in. Explain your conscious being, your and spirit, your soul. That, Explain that. That also gives me, because of my brain, that also gives me this idea or this mm -hmm. feel that I have a, sub, a subconscious. Right. But at the same time, I mean, but here's we're, the, we're all going to die and nothing is going to matter at the end of the day. Why not? Why? If what do you mean why? Over, it's game over. Like, can you prove it? Can you prove that there's something going to be after? Yeah. Get that. Give me that. Give me. Give me Ecclesi You get sec give, You give me that in Second Ezra. You give me that in Ecclesiastes three. Why not? You told me to prove it. Well, because the book is. Well, here, here's the thing, though. Do you do you, do you, do you believe in the basic fundamental physics of energy? Energy cannot be created nor destroyed. It can only transfer. Correct. I mean, that's what we've been told. That that's that's what energy does. You can't create energy. You can only transfer it from one source to another. That's literally been proven by what you call science and physics. Literally? Yes. Literally. That's li li that's it is literally. Word. It is literally been proven. Literally been proven. Yes. You can. You cannot. You can't just create energy from nothing. And you have seen it. You I. Have li literally seen I've literally it. taken an electronics class and done it. Yes. yes. I've done it several times. I can't tell you how many LEDs that I've blown up from transferring energy and electricity from a 9 volt battery and a 12 volt battery going through a series of circuits, resistors capacitors and blowing up several series of LEDs because I wanted to. I didn't create the energy I transferred the energy. What's this? Hold that. Just hold that. Hold that for me real quick right? What happens to a battery once the energy is all gone? It's done. <laughs> so then what happened to us? The energy moved. You said it was all gone? And removed it. It was removed but from now, the battery. But now, whenever I ask about us, now mm. it's, it, it's like okay. So, so, without the scriptures, I'm going to tell you, we go back to the heavenly Father, and in a short stance, we get told about ourselves. We get told what judgment we're going to live, and then we get sent back down here to live out that judgment. We die. The energy within our bodies that you call your spirit or soul goes back up to the Father, and then it comes back down here to live out a judgment in the meat wagon that we call a body. That makes sense. It doesn't make sense at all, not at all. So, can you explain to me what happens when you die? I mean, we just die. You just die. It's over. It's can you prove? Can you prove that? I mean, I mean you, you see how when I ask you about what happens you, after you die with your spirit? Have you ever like made a plant come back? Made a plant come back to life? I don't know, like, like a dead plant? I mean, you give it water and nutrients and it comes back. Once it dies, it's gone. Okay, that's a plant. We're talking about conscious beings. It's two different things. Do you know, do you know anybody that can tell you about their past consciousness? And a past consciousness? No, 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 you know what? You mean like a past life? No, 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 I'm, 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 I've been drinking, man. I'm sorry. No, no, you're no, good. You're, you're asking no, some no, good I'm questions. Good. I'm, I'm 
Okay, okay. Well, well, I mean, the, the cuss of the matter is this. You say that you don't believe in the Most High God, which I get. This is coming, I, I'm talking to you as someone who was once in your position. You see what I'm saying? So that, that's why I understand where you're coming from. That's why I'm asking you the questions that I'm asking you. There are things that we cannot explain. Why explain them, though? But here's, that, that's the whole point of the Most High. He's literally the creator and destroyer of everything. Everyone that's ever died, he's the one that killed them. Everyone that's ever been created or born, he's the one that did that. And you can't explain, you can explain what happens to your body. It decomposes down to matter, and then what's left is just bones in the dirt. That happens. What do you call it, the Most High? The Most High God, Yahweh, my Heavenly Father. And his name means he is the existing one, or he exists, because he's the one that created everything that you see he's the reason why the sun is over there right now and why the sun's purpose does what it does no it is our belief it is our belief as hebrew israelites whose forefathers wrote the records that people call the bible today the bible itself a lot of people had this whole thing oh it's a religious book of western christianity no it is a record book about a family that grew into a nation of people and their experience with their God. That is literally what the Bible is. Is that the Old Testament? Or is it the it's, the, it's all of it. It's the Old, the New, and the Apocrypha, all of it. It's all records that we wrote throughout the annals of time. And the people that gave you this and colonized you lied to you about it. Oh, no, I don't believe in that at all. Oh, uh, we don't either. Can you do me a small favor? Can you step on this guy? Put your boots on his face, man. Both oh, yeah. boots on his face. You know what? You know what? Nah, you stepped over him. Put your boots on his face, man. You know what? I won't. Because Why? That thing that I got in my people. Come on, man. Put your boot on his face, man. That is the devil that the Bible speaks of. You know what happened under with this picture right here? Oh, no, 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 no. Don't don't set him up, man. Nah, nah, nah. Nah, step on him, Yachty. Step on him. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. DDT him. DDT. Hey, sisters, can y'all do me a favor? Can y'all step on this devil right here? Can y'all step? Why not? You don't want to put your foot on the white man? Why not? That's not Jesus. That's the devil the Bible speaks of. That's right. Come on, brother. Put your boot on his face. I do, I do agree on that. Ah, come on, man. By the way, wait, you don't like colonization, right? You hate that colonization happened, yes? Colonization. When the conquistador and the European... Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. Give me, give me Ruth chapter 2, verse 1. Uh, Deuteronomy, it's, it's fitting that you read this. Give me Deuteronomy 15, <laughs> verse 49. Hey, hey, bro, hold on. Let me show you something real quick before you go, right? Because when you started this conversation with my brother, right, you said you've been colonized. They, they forced y'all to believe in Jesus, right? Now, the God of this Bible, Yahweh, he was talking about, right? He's not gonna, he's not gonna come out of the sky and what's up? No, you're good. Like, he's not gonna come out of the God, the, the sky, and slap you in the face to show that he exists. He's going to say something, like he's going to say something thousands of years, thousands of years in the past, and it's going to come to pass before you right now, and that's how you're going to know that he exists. Watch this. Give me this. In this book of Baruch, chapter 2 and verse 1, mm -hmm. therefore the Lord had made good his words, which he pronounced against us and against our judges that judge Israel and against our kings, and against our princes, and against the men of Israel and Judah, yeah, keep going. to bring upon us great plagues, such as never happened under the whole heaven. So, oh, yeah, as it came to pass in Jerusalem, according to the things that were written in the law of Moses. So, the Lord, right, he says he, he's going to, he, he's made, like, in Baruch, and says so he's made good on his word. The things that he said is going to happen, he's going to make good on it happen. Just like how, like, I wrote something down, I, I made you a promise and wrote it down and then fulfilled it. That's what the Lord does. I'm going to show you something he fulfilled. Watch this. This is the book of Deuteronomy, like it. chapter 28 and verse 49. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far. A nation against thee from far. Now, who did you said y'all was colonized, right? Like everybody else. Does, does that sound like this? A nation from far, right? Spain. Spain come afar, a a, a, like leagues and miles away from where y'all were to come colonize y'all, right? That's a nation from far. Watch this. From the end of the earth, yeah. as swift 
as the eagle fly it. Now it says as swift as the eagle fly it. No, eagle's fast. But also, what was the what was the banner and what was on their on their flags? What was their emblem? It was an eagle. It literally was an eagle. Even just like how America is, just like how you said, oh, we've all been colonized black people too. We've also been colonized by people who have a eagle on their flag. The emblem of America is the bald eagle, right? Watch this. A nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. Did y'all know Spanish before the Spain the, the Spaniards got over there? Hold, hold on, let me finish my point, bro. Wait, I, I got you, bro. Hold up, I'm building a premise, man. Bro, bro, what's your name? What's your name? Oliver, Oliver, hold up real fast, Oliver. Oliver, Oliver, Oliver. Oliver, bro. Bro, I got you. I got you, Oliver. Look, I'm trying to show you something. Just let me look, bear with me for a second, right? Bear with me for a second. So God said He's gonna make good on His word. This is something He said was gonna happen. A nation's gonna come from afar. That happened to y'all. Colonization. And they're gonna be as swift as the eagle fly. Their emblem was the eagle, and they were fast and coming over here. Right? Go ahead. Verse 50. A nation of fierce countenance. Yeah. Which shall not regard the person of old, nor shall favor to the young. The, the conquistadors didn't care if you were old or if you were young. They were all still going to captivity and forced to serve this. Watch this, right? Because it says you, a nation is going to come from a far distance to come to uh, to come against y'all, right? He's not going to care about the, the uh, old. He's not going to care about the young. Finish this out and then go to verse 64. Clock here. And he shall eat the fruit of thy cattle. And oh, yeah, the, that's, that's right. Go to 64. God, verse 64. And the Lord shall scatter thee yeah. among all people. From the one end of the earth, yeah. even unto the other. Yeah. And there thou shalt serve other gods. They're going to do what? Serve other gods. So when they came, like the eagle like the eagle flieth, right? A nation of fierce countenance is not going to regard the old or the young, right? Didn't you say they made y'all worship Jesus? This is something that God said is going to happen to you. Watch this. Which neither thou nor thy fathers have known. We never knew this. This white Christ... That's not a biblical thing. We never knew that. Y'all never knew that. Go ahead. Even wood and stone. And now what do blacks and Hispanics believe in? The, the wooden cross. And they follow the, cobble, the cobblestone that the Muslims do. Right? That's something that God says is going to happen to you thousands of years before it even happened. That's so specific to us. Everybody can't, everybody can't relate to that. The white man can't relate to that. The Asian man can't relate to that. The East Indian man can't relate to that. But we can that's something God said was going to happen. He made good on that word. He shows that he exists. Unless you want to say all that's a coincidence. And I'm just going to just say, it's you, you can't, you can't. I think it's just like people telling you what to believe in. That's... How is that people telling you what you believe in? I mean, that's the same reason why you're reading that shit, though. No, I'm, I'm, show, I'm showing you, I'm showing you prophecy, Oliver. I'm sorry, I, I shouldn't have said that shit. I mean, it, it's cool. I mean, I'm not. I'm. I, I have thick skin. That's not gonna bother me. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. Just like how you was. Just like how you grew up a Catholic. I grew up a Christian. We didn't read this in there. We never. You. You. You know. You never read that in there. They never really sat down and tried to show you something like this. When you actually pick it up, the reason why I believe it, give me, give me Romans chapter 10, verse 17. The reason why I believe in this is because I see prophecy that can't nobody answer to. Can't nobody explain how it, it accurately describes what happens to the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans over here in, in the Americas. Nothing, nothing in this world can elaborate on that except the Bible. And I'm supposed to just laugh this off as a coincidence? No, I'm not going to do that. That's why I believe in this. Watch this. Give me this. Uh, the book of Romans 10 and 17. So then faith cometh by hearing. Faith cometh by hearing. My belief in this come by hearing. But hearing what? And hearing by the word of God. Hearing by the word of God. This Bible says we're going to go. The blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are going to go onto slave ships. A nation is going to come from far. They're going to make you serve another God. Your children are get going to get taken from you. You're going to have hell in your households. People, the men in the households are going to leave the, the, the wife and the child. We can't explain how it accurately describes us, man. Nothing. Science can't. The pastors can't. A regular person who tries to pick up the Bible can't explain how this accurately describes what's going to happen to the black, Spanish, and Native Americans. And this was written thousands of years ago. And I'm supposed to laugh that off as a coincidence? No, this God is real, bro. This God is real.
We can, we can play games about it or not. You can be on the wrong side and say, oh, I don't care about that. You just got forced to believe in that. That's fine. You can see what happens to you after that. I don't recommend that for you. I wish you would like actually try to see what this is about before you just dismiss it. I mean, you kind of are because you're saying I, it's like you. You, you kind of are when you say that I, that I'm uh, that I'm just believing in it. I'm just believing it because somebody gave it to me. It's just like I just think of this way, you know. Like, why could I believe if the colonizers never got to my country, you know, or never got to my to like, where I live, you know? Because I mean, my country was like totally raped by like colonizers. So was ours. <laughs> so and we the same. We went through the same stuff. So then, I mean. Have you ever gotten in touch with what you used, like your ancestors used to believe? In yeah, yeah, there? yeah, yeah. I, I picked up a holy Bible and read it, brother. That's, that's me getting in touch with my ancestors. All this stuff that was read to you was stuff that's supposed to happen to the Israelites. I believe that I'm an Israelite. Being a being a black yeah Israelites. Yeah, I'm saying being a a, a black 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 doesn't denote any type of nationality. Black doesn't mean nothing except the absence of light and evil. Right, what's up? Show him like when his ancestors believed. Go ahead, go. Oh yeah, uh, Quetzalcoatl. Qu Qu oh yeah, yeah, that too, that too. Go ahead. Hold it, hold it. Let me see where he goes. How you always end up reading the Mexican verses? I'm sorry that that ain't no coincidence no more. <laughs> Every time. Yeah, it's the most happy. Hey, I'm confounded. Hey, if it ain't the last samurai, man, what you got going on, man? What's up? I mean, I don't care, man. Go ahead. It's the last samurai, man. <laughs> <laughs> Last samurai. Man. Yeah, y'all sisters believe in God? Oh man, what are you doing? What you doing, man? What's your what's your nationality? You Native American? Oh, okay. Yeah, you just come over and just <laughs> Oh yeah, man. Hey man, we Yeah, we we are here. Yeah, we're trying to show our people that we are the true children of God, man. We the Israelites. The Gadites are the... You are Gadite, brother. He's, he's, he just came over here and just started trying to touch stuff, man. <laughs> I was like, that's rude. <laughs> I mean, it's my brother, but that is kind of rude. He can't come over here and touch people's stuff, man. But yeah, man. Anybody over here believe in God, man? Anybody believe in God? I know she believe in God, right? <laughs> but give me... Uh, Give me Sirach 32, verse 24. Give me some of that apocryphal love, man. Give me some of that apocryphal, those apocryphal scriptures, man. Oh, yeah, first and, firm, first and foremost, right, I want to say, call Halal Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai. That's all praise to the Most High God in the name of His only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, man. Because His name, there was no J back then. His name was not Jesus, it was Yahweh Shai in the Hebrew. Right! The true name of the Lord, how they say Jehovah, it's Yahweh in the Hebrew. There was never no J, right? And all all blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans walking across this cro this uh, crosswalk right here, just know that y'all are God's chosen people. That's right. And everybody else will be subservient unto you into the ki in the kingdom of heaven. All right. Go ahead and give me that. You want to write 32? 32 and 24. Because the book of Sarai, chapter 32, verse 24. He that believeth in the Lord, take it heed to the commandment. He that does what? He that believeth in the Lord, take it heed to the commandment. He that believes in the Lord, takes heed to the commandment. You you have obedience. You have a, a set level of, of obedience for the rules and, and structure that the Lord set out for you, man. Everybody wants to say they believe in God. Everybody wants to go to church on Sunday. Everybody wants to hoop and holler for the name of the Lord. But what are you doing, though? What does your life look like? What does your walk look like? It's easy. It's real easy to say you believe in God. Give me uh, Matthew chapter 7, verse 21. Can you give me NLT, though? Any NLT? It's real easy to say you believe in God. It's real easy to profess yourself to be a Christian. But how are you acting? How are you showing God that you love him? How are you showing, y'all want to say love thy neighbor. Do y'all even know what that means, man? 
The same people who say love that neighbor be the same somebody, the same person who will steal off on somebody for stepping on their shoe. But tell us we need to love our neighbor. The same person who say love thy neighbor will be the same person holding a grudge against somebody. That's that's how our people operate. Right. Like I mean, I'm glad brother repented when he came up here, right? But he he said we were being disrespectful and reading the Bible, and and call and call my brother a motherfucker, and at the same time saying love thy neighbor. Like that, that's how that's a sickness in our people that, that has to be rooted out, man. Right. It has to be. Go ahead. It's the book of uh, Matthew 7 and 21 in the NLT. Not everyone who calls out to me, Lord, Lord, will enter into the kingdom of heaven. Hey, brother, you believe in God? Yo, come here real fast. Let me talk to you real quick. Man, you ain't got nothing to do, man. Y'all just coming out the fair. You, you spent your money. You left, man. It's Saturday. Y'all off from work. You ain't got nothing to do. But I know, you know what, man? You know, you know what we going to do? We're going to get you right today. That's right. We're going to get you. We're not going to get you out of there. We're going to get you right today. That's what Israel needs. Go ahead. God, not everyone who called out to me, Lord, Lord, will enter into the kingdom of heaven. Only those who actually do the will of my Father in heaven will enter. Those who actually do the will of my Father will enter. You have to be obedient. The, doing somebody's will is being obedient unto them. Being submitted unto them. Go ahead. God, on judgment day, Many will say to me, Lord, Lord, we prophesy in your name and cast out demons in your name and perform many miracles in your name. But I will reply, I never knew you. Get away from me, you who break God's laws. So God, so Christ, right? Christ is going to say, get away from me, you who break God's laws. Y'all are going to be saying, oh, I was in the church. I was giving tithes. I was giving tithes all my life. I was in there catching the Holy Ghost. So-called speaking in tongues, but if you're not, if you're not, if you're breaking these laws, Christ is gonna say, "I never knew you." That's right. A lot of y'all who call yourselves Christians don't know Christ, and you know yourself that you don't know Christ. You know. But when the Bible comes out, when you get asked about what you believe in, when you, when your when your uh, when your your scriptural fortitude gets challenged, a lot of y'all crumble and run away from that. Because you know how you are, you know how you operate. What you got? Any of y'all believe in God? Y'all believe in God? How do you show God that you love him? According to the Bible, how do we show God how we love him? What'd she say? Well, following the commandments. There's more than, there's more than 10, but you're on the right path. Yeah, the commandments. There's more than 10, sister. Do you know do you know there's a dietary law that God says we have to adhere to? Why should let me show you something real fast? Before I like go, give me Leviticus 11. Uh, this is the book of uh, Leviticus chapter 11 and verse uh, 7. And then it's like it. And of the swine, though it divided the hoof and chew of the cud, yeah. is uh, clean to you. Nevertheless, it's like it. Uh, of eight, and of that flesh shall you not eat. And of that carcass shall you not touch, they are unclean to you. So the Lord says we're not allowed to eat swine. We can't do that. You know what swine is? Swine is pork. And you, and you got to stop eating this, sis. That's, how the, that's what the Lord said. This ain't me. And here's the thing. Give me Isaiah chapter 66. Do you know what's going to happen to the people who's eating pork when, when Christ comes back? I'm going to show you. Watch this. It's the book of uh, it's like it. Isaiah chapter uh, 66. Come on, verse, uh, Let me get you one verse, sis. Let me get you one verse. Oh, it's like man. it. Uh, I'm going to get to the point. They that sanctify themselves and put the uh, purify themselves in the gardens behind one tree in the midst, yeah. eating swine's flesh yeah. and the abomination, and the mouth shall be consumed together, said the Lord. So you're going to be consumed, sister, if you if you continue to eat that pork. God, God says, though, he's going to kill the people who's eating pork when he comes back. Right. This isn't my words. This is what the Bible says, man. We can't believe we can't believe Christ died. Christ died so we can just disobey God. That's what Christians believe. Christ died so the law doesn't matter no more. No. So that you can be disobedient to God? No, that's not what happened, man. Christ died so that when you mess up, you have an opportunity to repent from it. Go ahead. The book of Galatians 2 and 17. But if while we seek to be justified by Christ. Oh, there you go, man. Oh, crazy, man. Look at that, man. Hey, bro, give me some of that. that, man. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey look, Red, you're going to add some music on that one. Oh, 
all praises, bro. All praises, man. You see? You see? Because, like, here, yeah, all praises, man. All praises, man. I don't, I don't care who did it as long as it got done. As long as it got done, man. What time is it? It's about 7 o'clock, man. Got to walk back and got to get some tacos. <laughs> All right, yeah, 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 man. With that, we got we got brother repented, man. With that, I'm going to spend my whole Let me get this preset. Let me get this preset. Galatians 2 and 17. But if while we seek to be justified by Christ, we ourselves also are found sinners, right, yeah. is therefore Christ the minister of sin? God forbid. Christ is not the minister of sin. Right. So Christ didn't die so that you can now eat pork. And, and various seafoods that the Lord forbid. Christ didn't die so that you can now be a murderer. Christ did not die so that you can celebrate every holiday which the Lord told you not to do. That's right. So, <laughs> what the Christian church told you, what your pastor told you is a goddamn lie. Right. You need to keep these commandments so we can get out of captivity. You blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans who are the true children of God, not the, the curly Q small hats over there, right. but the black Hispanics and Native Americans, man. That's right. And with that, I'm going to say, call her law, Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, and say, Shalom. Shalom.